That was harsh. Still, it'll keep us in vittle for a long time. I'll get this hauled out of here pronto. Hey, Trish. What's wrong with you? People are starving, and you're stealing the only food they've seen in days? I did it for us. To make sure we're taken care of. I don't get you sometimes. Take a look at this, Sapphire City. The plot of your scene was taken by a security camera near Hey, Cora! You're up on the big screen! Our city, our lives. Someone from your family died? Well, now you know who to blame. If you know anything about this guy, let me know. Because we got to get the word out on this terrorist. Whoever he is, we're going to make him pay. Ever been called a terrorist? Yes. All I remember from that day is going to work and then running for my life. That video, though. How'd I get that package? Why would I deliver a bomb? For who? Regardless, the consequences are everywhere. Whatever there'd been between Trish and me was gone. She didn't say a word. No emotion, nothing, just walked away. By then, people nearby were starting to recognize me. It was gonna get ugly. Even Zeke was giving me weird looks. He and I made quick plans to meet up at Stampton Bridge. Try to get out of town. Just hope he shows. Because right now, I'm a little short on friends. And there's our first mission complete. Now, I think the- I can't remember if the game here says our difficulty settings or not. Okay, it doesn't. But uh, depending on the difficulty, difficulties in the game is actually interesting. Hmm. They actually don't do it in the way of you take less damage and the enemies take more damage, kind of a thing. Yeah. This is no way to be they, a there's a little bit of that, but it actually more along the lines of you get more XP for things on the lower difficulties. Oh. So they actually kind of hamper you to be more powerful that way. Uh, listen, man, I'm almost to the bridge. Since everyone here hates your guts, we gotta get out of town. Pronto-like. I'll meet you there. And Zeke, thanks for watching my back. <laughs> sure, man. I ain't about to do anything that might piss you off. <laughs> See ya. I'm just afraid you'll murder me. Well, the, the man does shoot lightning out of his hands. And of course I was going the wrong direction the whole time, so let's go over here. <laughs> so yeah, um... I have a few complaints about this game, and one of them is actually Cole's voice. Um, he just sounds gruff and angry. Really? Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed that. No, no. I think this game suffers from something that, like, Mass Effect suffers from, where, uh, Good Shepherd, I mean, sorry, Male Shepherd is pretty good for good, but he always sounds like he's faking being evil. And, um, Jennifer Hale, who does Fem Shep, Always sounds evil, no matter what. <laughs> like, whenever she's like, I'm very happy that you guys are living right now. She always sounds like she's just seething through her teeth at whatever she's trying to say to you. Oh, the true shit. Back for that. But yeah, so that's kind of my issue with Cole, is that he just sounds just generically evil right now. And that really doesn't change. I need a Pepsi. Yeah, give or take. <laughs> Stick down. Damn terrorist snipers. I'm so sick of these guys. I know, the guys are jerks. Well, well, I guess the Mass Effect comparison was pretty apt. These are Reapers. Oh, by the way, a little thing. If you step in water, that happens. Oh. And if people walk in, it actually electrocutes them. Even pedestrians. Nice. Oops, sorry guys. Yeah, pretty much. Zeke run. Stampton Bridge. The fastest way out of town. That is, if you can get us past those baton-wielding goons. We're getting out of here, one way or another. Follow my lead. See what I mean? <laughs> he just has gruff for the Follow sake of being me. gruff. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Give me your badge and your gun. You have entered a restricted area. Lethal force may be used at any time. Please return to your homes. You will be notified when the quarantine is Otherwise, been... Otherwise, we'll club you. Give or take. Gonna have to get past those riot cops if we want out of here. If I fry a couple of the guards from inside the crowd, but I can trigger a riot, help keep the heat off Zeke and me. Of course, that means a lot of innocent people will get the hell kicked out of them. I'm not an animal! Let's get in there before... 
That was, that was also a really good usage. You'll see, um, it just says takedown because, look, they're just wounded on the ground. Oh. I think you'll pop up when you see a new thing pop up here in a second. I don't know if I kill somebody here. But it's called a wounded kill, actually. Eat some hot land! Those barricades make good cover! See? You're, yeah. you're just disabling their immune system. I mean, nothing major. Oh, no. Yeah, just paralyzing them slightly. Watch out for the machine guns! <laughs> Man, I was gonna run right into the machine guns. I do that often, actually. I forget. <laughs> you also do this. Damn it. Very useful for uh, later parts in the game. You may also notice I do switch my hands from side to side because you can do that. So you can like look around cover corners and do this. You also may notice those headshots do a really better job of taking down enemies than doing body hits. Oh, by the way, that top left-hand side, those are called batteries. And that's our energy consumption. And just using regular um, lightning strikes like this does not use up our energy. But the special moves like the blast that we have right now does. Game mechanics! Oh, the thunder drop also does it. Ooh. Mail in this game is not that good, by the way. <laughs> I mean, because of course you would always love to use melee when you have electrical powers. Yeah, you just punch people with electricity. By the way, like that little ding it makes when it's done. That do that looks natural. That stance he's doing right there. This area is under strict quarantine. Indiscriminately. Don't you love indiscriminate lethal force? I'm trying to get the guy's headshot because whenever somebody's using a turret, you can usually uh, get their head. Er Welcome to New Detroit. Actually, I think Empire City is supposed to be New York. There we go. Also, the whole exp and that's another cool thing too is that other enemies will jump into the turrets if they are around. There we go. See, wounded kill. That means I actually did kill that guy. I like they're just hiding behind the wrong side of the barricade going, please don't shoot us! That turret never hurt anyone. <laughs> that turret was five days from retirement. Just run through the hail of bullets, it's cool. That poor guy, he was just, you know, protesting cruelty to animals. Yeah. By the way, you can also do this, which is super useful. Yes, we, we, we know. Uh, but yeah, if there's... Sorry. I was just going to say, the civilian standing in front of the turret, not not a good idea. No. But yeah, if you are if you electrify something that does conduct electricity, you can actually drain electricity from it as an emergency way of getting power. It's quarantine station! It's our ticket out of here! Yeah, ticket out of here. It's going to go really well, isn't it? <laughs> the gate opened to a wall of razor wire machine guns. Zeke made a break for it, smashed in the gate to the decontamination unit, and fell headlong now. No. And I moved, faster than I knew I could. I was greeted by name. This FBI agent, Moya, had seen the footage of me at Ground Zero and came here to wait, figuring I'd try to escape, knowing I'd have powers. She explained that before the blast, her husband, John, had been assigned to infiltrate the First Sons shadowy group working on a project they called the Ray Sphere, a device designed to drain the neuroelectric energy from a group of people and concentrate it into an individual. She'd lost contact with John the night of the blast. Despite all her connections, Moya was losing hope. Yet she'd found me, somehow believing I could be trusted, ready to make me an offer. I go back to the city, find John in the Ray Sphere, and she'll get me out of the quarantine and clear my name. This whole Ray Sphere thing sounds crazy to me. But suddenly I'm a human white socket, so maybe I should cut her some slack. Because of the riot, 
topside, this is the only way back into the city. Given the state of our new partnership, I've taken the liberty of cloning your phone's frequency. I've got a lock on your GPS locator, and I can hear every word you say. That's super. I work for the government, don't worry, you can trust me. Yeah, exactly. I'm a shadowy government person who's just hanging out in a quarantine zone. That's cool. This is, this is an area you can really see just how good the whole sticking to things automatically works. Well, it was so smart of her to, you know, wait until he brought all those poor people to get murdered so then she talked to him. Yeah, did, you didn't expect that to happen, did you? Just that all those people to get slaughtered like that? Yeah, there we go. You may also notice the whole making them drop thing. You don't actually have to hit the rusted part. You just have to hit the thing connected to it. You can actually tell the difference based on how I shoot at them. Uh, uh, uh. No. Oh. Eh. Come on. There we go. I really do. They did a really good job with the, the effects of things being electrified. I really like that. Hurt. I feel like the Energizer Bunny. I'm just gonna hop around. So here's our obligatory open world collectibles. Oh, blast shards. Blast cores. Um, yeah, they are blast shards. My bad. Cores <laughs> are a different game. Huh. Well, yeah, there's there's cores in the sequel, but yeah. Uh, also, this is the only time this happens in the entire fucking game. <laughs> But yeah, so you get a bunch of them, you get a new battery. I'm not going to be collecting them all because there's over 300 of them in the game. The water pressure has dropped in the main running under the bridge. What's going on down there? The Reapers are busting up some pipes. Interesting. I'll see what I can find out. You worry about getting back into the city. Uh, I'm not making it worse. <laughs> It's not like the whole city's already dilapidated. <laughs> yeah, what's a few pipes gonna mean, really? Oh. Don't forget who's holding your leash, Cole. You find John and the race here, and I get you out of there. No questions asked. If you double cross me or do something stupid, then I will throw you into a hole so deep that you won't even know which way is up. Oh. Got it. Yeah, I got it. Don't you wish that she just had given you like a little raft or something instead of doing this? <laughs> well, also, I say this also explains the whole thing that why can't the person swim because it would kind of murder him. No, yeah. oh, that's true. Yeah. Nope, not making the water pressure worse. Bye. Oh yeah, there it is. Hard difficulty. Yeah, I don't know if I show up, but I immediately change it to medium. <laughs> Cole? Oh man, it's good to see you. By the way, we have no water. Yeah, nice work on that gate, Wrecking Ball. Oh. Uh... Yeah, live through the fall, no problem. But uh, getting back to shore? Well, let's just say I'm no Michael Phelps. Yeah, that's an understatement. Hey, hey, take it easy, lightning rod. So, uh, how the hell'd you live through that, man? Bullets flying everywhere, all over the place. Figured you were a goner. Let's head home. I'll fill you in on the way. Beep, 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 boing. Yeah, in the end of every act, we get something like this. 